Good morning, and uh, thank you for having me over. Uh, it's a pleasure talking to you uh, on a subject which is very, very close to my heart. Because I personally believe, if we don't have personal credibility, our ability to influence our stakeholders is, is very low. Uh, just to introduce the audience, uh, I'm Saurabh, the part of Wipro HR's team, and I've been a practicing HR practitioner for the last three decades plus. So happy to be here, Anil. And uh, let me start by giving a uh, thoughts on you know why this is important. And you know, uh, if you go through Google and you know and search, and I was doing this uh, on personal credibility, you know, it is basically it's a convergence between your actions and words. You know, it's in a nutshell, and act your part well, and there is where your honor lies. So, you know, we can always break it down to values, integrity, honesty, trust, you know, as competence. But credibility is built through our actions. In simple terms, saying the say do ratio. You know, we live in a world where we need people to look at us and they say, if Anil is saying something, it will happen. If Saurabh is saying something, it will happen. And that gets built over consistently doing the things which you have called out for and committing yourself. And I have learned this in my journey over the last three decades is the most powerful way of not only building your brand, but also being absolutely uh, able to impact your work very well uh, and impact your stakeholders, influence your stakeholders uh, if you have personal credibility. Uh, this is let me start with saying this, you know, and it started with, uh, and I'll give you a small story, you know, um, I started my career many, many years back, as I said, uh, in ITC, you know, and uh, I was uh, working in a, in a factory in Calcutta. And uh, those days, you know, it was very strong unions and, you know, kind of stuff. And uh, uh, I was a bachelor, my first job, uh, starry eyed. Uh, and uh, I was fortunate to have uh, uh, my first boss, a mentor who's lived throughout that, you know, build personal credibility. And there was this incident which happened is that uh, in those days, you know, we used to work on our learning. You know, computers were not there and we used to have a database and we used to work and uh, it had the entire employee database. And uh, so I had to do some work on it because there was a meeting with the union next day. And I did something, I put, pressed some keys in my most immature way and everything got vanished, you know, there was nothing left. And uh, I was scared, I thought this was going to be my last day at work, you know, because they started my career in what a way to end in this stint. Because it had the entire... And uh, the only thing I learned is that these mistakes happen and mistakes happen when people work. Now let's see what we can do to make it happen. And the union leader walked up to me and said that, oh, and I'm moving into Hindi, he said, Kal meeting hai, and uh, we have to be prepared for this. Uh, and I said, Ho jayega. Which actually meant that from 6 p.m. in the evening till 4 p.m. next day, that's nearly 22 hours, at a stretch, I had to sit and make sure that that database was disrupted. And, you know, for the world, apart from my boss, no one knew that this fiasco had happened. But the meeting went on smoothly after that. But that was the first starting point where I committed to something at the professional work and it happened. Which really led me to believe that, you know, this is how personal credibility 
and there there on you know it always became that if saurav has said something he he comment himself and and things will happen uh, very important not only at work at personal relationships like that we hold on to our commitments with you know with friends with colleagues with family members and you create an image of yourself i think this is the single most powerful lesson i have learned out of not in working in uh, studying in schools and colleges but at work that this is what makes or breaks a person and take the bath and i still believe that it's true for all of us and we do this on a everyday basis you know, every word we speak every action of ours people measure us as leaders we live in glass houses you know people look up to us and do exactly what they do we also get measured you know we all have opinions and all big leaders we speak about and you know discuss similarly we as leaders are getting discussed somewhere so we create an image an impression a brand on a daily basis on every interaction how we speak how we deal and this is the single biggest thing for any budding hr professional is how can you build your personal credibility it's about all your capabilities and competence into actions it's about your say do ratio it's about your right behaviors and this will completely lead lead you make you lead a very different professional and personal life uh sir also you know i would request you many a times we go ahead with all confidence and we commit but you know somehow we have not been able to meet the deadline or because of certain external factors or things that are beyond our control we often falter also during such situations how does one you know go ahead and still hold on to that personal credibility and don't take any excuses two things i think which have kept me in good stead one is not to externalize the problem you know it said this is my problem this has happened i had committed on x day and y time that i will be able to do this did not happen so it's not about because of abc reasons i had done my work somebody else did it second is avoid any surprises you know we have people are you know and especially i can speak of my industry we work with knowledge workers today so people appreciate and understand the reality of that we are operating but if you are able to avoid any surprises let them know in advance let them know that this is the way to work i think these things make a huge difference in fact often i get a mail and i would say you know received it will take me 3 days to respond i'll come back to you maybe after 48 hours i'll say not able to close it will take another 7 days but they know that i am at it i have responded to it i am you know there is confidence it's not a black box as far as so stuff like that it's simple things being done repeatedly on a regular basis for making an impact and uh, sort of one more curious question in the back of my mind we take years to build this personal credibility by actions by our actions as you rightly said what the talk is very very important in the dark scheme of thing but what are the absolute no nos in in the process of personal credibility building which often would be a very thin line between what to do what not to do so what is that one got to be extra careful about so some some tips i'll give you you know you know there there are shortcuts to it this is not a work work period of time It's built, as I say, a house is built brick by brick. This is also built brick by brick. You cannot expect anything to happen overnight, uh, and that's true for anything. You go to any sport, anything. Anyone who has excelled in their field have done that uh, regularly over a consistent period of time. Uh, the first point I will say is treat people with respect. Uh, and when you say treat people with respect, how do you build trust? By doing simple things, simple things like returning a phone call, showing up on time, delivering things on time. So this is so true, both in personal and professional life. It doesn't take, but this is how I build trust. I today believe that if I don't respond to an email within 48 hours, I am being disrespectful to them. 
So I think this is first important is that you know, treat people with respect. We're doing the simple things to build trust. Second, in my view, is gain competence. Uh, you have to have capability and competence in some area where people look up to you. The question is, why should people seek you? People seek you because there is the expertise, there is the... My, my, I tell, tell all the youngsters today that it is so important for all of us to be so... Uh, build some expertise, something special, uh, which people look up to you, there is a premium you are sought after. Important. Third is be realistic. You know, uh, we must take as much as we can deliver. You know, being popular cannot build credibility. You know, often, you know, to impress our leadership, bosses, we take on more than we can chew and not in a position to deliver. It's a recipe for disaster. I, I'm saying that it should not, we should not be pessimistic. We should take up new areas, but we must take it with a stretch ability to deliver. And the last one I would say is about understanding our stakeholders and requirements and deliver on those. Important here is that people are not interested today in the input of what we are doing. I have worked so hard, I have put in 18 hours, I have been very sincere, I have tried my best. People are looking at outcomes and outcomes build personal credibility. So we have to shift our focus on making sure we have the right outcomes to make people believe and build a brand for yourself. So these are the few tips I would have for people in terms of enhancing personal credibility. Simple, and but again I repeat, simple things being done regularly on an ongoing basis is what will make a difference. Any mentors, any practitioner, any industry leader that you have in your mind, whom you benchmark, who is ultimately at an uh, excellence level when it comes to uh, living those personal credibility and then living up to the commitments that people have made in the past and any uh, stories there, any uh, good experiences there that you would like to share with my audience? So Anil, I have been the privilege of working very closely with Mr. Prem Ji over the last uh, decade plus. Uh, and in my every interaction, I, I personally believe I have learned because he is one who has led from the front on everything what he says. So if he believes on, you know, he says I'm a professional setup, I can have a stated point of view, I can disagree with him without any fear of retribution. If he believes and it's important to live a frugal life, lives that life. It's not that it's applicable to others. If he believes that, you know, uh, commitments is important, he will stick to those commitments personally and, and then try that way. So, on each of these aspects, what he is expecting his larger organization, which he has built over, over the last few decades, he has personally led in the front. You know, so I think that's what has made people believe that, you know, I've been fortunate to work with him and I learn. The other thing which I have learned from him is that, is that about being curious, you know, at whatever age, you know, continue to be a student and he always says, uh, we all are learn it all and know it all. And uh, very clearly in my view, I have seen it that his Curiosity to understand and learn new things is childlike, you know, which are, makes us believe that all of us need to learn. You know, the day I start believing that I know it all, I've been in the industry for 30 years, I, 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 I've done it, you know, is the day which my decline will start. You know, I have to be and learn from people who are much younger, much junior, but have much brighter than you, you know, and that's what I have picked up. So, to answer your question, yes, Mr. Premji has been one person whom I have, you know, admired to see who, who has lived these on a daily basis. Typically, at a young age, when somebody in the verge of you know starting career, uh, they are bound to get into populist kind of a uh, you know track, and they find it really difficult to stand up and challenge the status quo 
and say that how can I say no to my boss? I don't, in fact, you know, personally appreciate an idea, but then somehow I'm under uh, some sort of a pressure. How my bosses are going to view this? And hence, I would be a little uh, compromising on my personal value and what I strongly believe in because of that fear, because of my seniority, because of uh, multiple other parameters. How does one make a move from the scratch, from the starting point? So, you know, I will quote Steve Jobs here. He said that if you want to be in a popularity contest, sell ice creams, don't become a leader. Uh, I personally believe and my my advice to youngsters starting is that we will get into various stages where we will have a point of view which is being different than what is being stated or what is being practiced. Never ever stop yourself on stating your point of view. It's important to share this is what you feel and why you feel. But equally important is that it's not that always your point of view will be one which will be accepted. But people will, over a period of time, this is again your personal credibility, and I'm linking back to that, over a period of time, will start respecting you that you have a point of view and you state it. Equally important that if you have to implement something which was not point of your point of view, the larger organizational decision. You must be committed to make it happen rather than saying this will not work. So there should not be any passive resistance to what you are doing. But build credibility of having a point of view, stating it up front. And over a period of time you realize, chip by chip you will start influencing people. And people will start looking up to, uh, if Saurabh is saying it, or Anil is saying it, it makes sense and let's try and do that. So. Be comfortable of people not accepting your point of view. But be also equally comfortable of stating your point of view. And uh, sort of as a practicing CHR, when you do uh, the performance assessment in the entire performance management scheme of things, would you give any weight as to an individual's personal credibility? Be it in the potential part or be it in the performance part. I'll tell you, you know, Anil, you know, we are human beings. And human beings and human beings, they emote. They have a point of view. They have feelings. We have a, we are individuals. We have our own likes, dislikes. All are there. And I'll tell you that subconsciously, you know, or as we work with people, we build an image. And we might not say it, but that makes an impact when you're thinking. because when you're assessing people for potential, for performance, you know, personal credibility makes a big difference. It's a very big career enhancement tool for people. Uh, and that has to be practiced on you know, every day, every hour basis. Right? So as I conclude on uh, personal credibility, uh, it's a journey, it's not a destination. It's something which needs to be displayed on a daily basis. And trust me, this is something which will make you a better professional, a better human being, and a better person. All the best.